Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Jason with Art of Creation Homestead again, and, and I'm going to want to do something for you. We're going to have a freeze this week, this, this weekend. This is a Wednesday evening, show maybe a freeze frost type deal on Friday night. So while we got a chance before we have to start covering stuff, um, I want to run through here and show you, show you exactly what is going well for us right now, what we're growing, uh, what's going to be able to make it, how things are done. Uh, a little update here now on some things that we've done videos on. If we've done a video on it, we, we will either put an iCard up here um, as we talk about it, or I will link uh, the video in the description, or I, I might do both, okay? So if you're interested in that, that information is going to be there as we go forward, okay? But, while, but while I'm going to go through here and show you uh, things we've done, all right? Uh, Right here, okay, we're gonna show you these these fog crates. All right, these fog crates. Now, you may have seen us do a video on, soak, on uh, seed germination and soaking seeds where we planted these fog crates full of beets. Um, the beets, the beets did come up, okay? <laughs> the beets did come up, but um, a rabbit came along and ate the tops off the beet sprouts. So, we gave up on the beets, planted some French breakfast radishes, and one of those and there's some uh, uh, romaine style lettuce and the other one that we just planted for baby greens okay there's two more over here we'll show you those two as well uh that we planted beets in as well <laughs> and no beets <laughs> no beets but here we do have some more french breakfast radishes and we're going to come along and maybe thin some of them um or and uh, scrape the dirt up around the necks of the stems but they're growing well they're going to handle the cold weather okay We've only got one night of really cold weather. And here is some Mizuna. Some Mizuna we got growing. I'm um, excited about it. We've never had a great, great um, time with Mizuna <laughs> because uh, cabbage moths, cabbage moths tend to like it, like they do kale and a lot of other things. So I'm really excited about the Mizuna as well. Um, but they're growing well. This stuff is going to be able to handle the cold weather coming up. It's going to be good. Fall gardening is a phenomenal time to garden. You can grow a lot of things really well. A lot of unique things really well like this these parsnips we've done a video on these parsnips showing you how to plant them in this tote and look at them they are doing wonderful we've got 20 something of them germinated here and growing really well I think let's find the best one this might be the best one I'll show you and you can see down in there you can see down in there See, there is a parsnip growing. See? See the top of it right here. So, they are doing well. They are doing really, really well. Ugh. Got a little dirty on it, didn't it? Got a little dirty there. Uh, it's okay. A little dirt on your finger doesn't ever hurt nobody. So that stuff's growing really well. Here's some uh, top of the garden here. Now, before you enter this garden, you gotta do something. Make sure you cut that off. I might smart a little bit. But I'm gonna step over the fence. I'm, I'm tall enough to do that. Okay? Now, this is a really fun spot to garden in. We've got four raised beds sitting here. First of all, I'm gonna show you what we've done a video on. We did a video of planting this bed. And here's the watermelon radishes. I think they're doing good. The tops look great. Uh, don't really know what's going on in down there. But the tops look great. Let's get this dirt back up here. I'm hoping we're going to get us some good radishes out of it. The, they're holding on to the dirt really well. Guess we'll, I guess we'll find out, won't we? So there's that. Here's some red kale. We did a video on this one, okay? So we can, we'll link that video here. Here's red kale. Oh, uh, I think it's called scarlet kale maybe. That's looking good. Here's kohlrabi. I do not know anything about how kohlrabi grows. Okay, gotta be honest with you. We've never grown it before. We just really wanted to try it. So if somebody can tell me what it's gonna be doing here, if it's looking like it's gonna work or not, let me know in the comments because I don't know what to think about it. But I just really wanted to have some kohlrabi if possible. And here's some spinach plant the spinach it's looking great uh, this is actually these are off the first plant some bugs or something came along and ate the others but so we replanted it and it's growing really well as well this is all chickweed <laughs> all these little sprouts just chickweed growing Ugh. 
I don't know why in the world we get so much chickweed in these beds, but we do. It's okay, chickens love it. Now, we did not do a video on these other uh, three beds, okay? We're going to scan over it real fast. We've got some lettuce growing. There's some uh, Udiculae, I think it's Udiculae lettuce, if I'm mistaken, here from Baker Creek. Some Rocky Top lettuce blend right here. And um, this one's oak leaf. Yeah, oak leaf lettuce. Um, again, we plant them really thick, like we did in our, in our winter lettuce video. We plant them really thick in order to uh, get baby greens, so they'll grow up, be smaller greens, and we'll just have a lot of really good baby greens for salads. And over here, Merlot lettuce, growing really well. Uh, this one's the black seeded, is it Simpsons black seeded, is that what it's called? That's what's there, it looks great. And this is a uh, romaine style, this is the same romaine lettuce we planted in that other uh, file crate over there. And it's looking great. I really love this next bed. Okay, you may have seen it already. I don't know why I love it so much. I love growing carrots. Um, they're uh, just a wonderful, wonderful thing to grow. This is the new Corota carrot, okay? <clears throat> so we've got this little bed full of new Corota carrots. As you can see. Growing really, really well. I don't know how many seeds are planted, but they're looking good. The deal with these is that like, obviously, we're probably not gonna be able to get them to full size before it starts freezing and frosting. Now, carrots like cool weather, but they, uh, walk through the garden as I tell you. But obviously, light's waning. They're not gonna grow as well, right? But the deal with it is we have uh, these little polytunnels to put over top, so we're gonna cover these raised beds, okay? We're gonna cover them, and we're gonna get, get to keep growing. Uh, the, the weather's not gonna be ice cold for more than a night. We're gonna make sure that everything's covered really well. Well, all these greens are gonna handle the weather anyways. We're probably gonna cover them just to make sure they do a little better. But, you can grow a lot of food. See, that's the wonderful thing about God's amazing design, is that God's provision doesn't stop when things are going well in the summertime. You know, when, when the weather's nice, when everybody wants to be out. When things look good, God's provision is great, you're right. Gardens are great, grow a lot of food. But God's provision doesn't stop when things are bad either. When, 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 light, when, when there's less light, things look a little bleaker. God's provision keeps going. God never stops loving no matter what the situation is like. And uh, that's what the fall garden shows me is, see like these peas. Peas are delicious. <laughs> these are uh, Lincoln peas. Uh, so they're an English pea, shell pea. Okay, they're still blooming. I actually, we haven't got anything off of them yet. You know, but they're blooming great. Um, they're gonna keep growing. They can handle this cold weather. We might cover them for the 32 degree night anyways. If it's gonna be 32, we might cover them um, anyways, but um, they're gonna keep growing. It's, they're not gonna stop. We've got a, we did a video on planting those, okay. We did do a video, we'll link that video here too. Maybe in the description, maybe here, we'll see. But, um, so you wanna see how we did that? There's those, we've got some magnolia tendril peas. This whole row here. All these down here are magnolia tendrils, okay? They're climbing well. I think they're gonna do well, they look good so far. If we can keep the weather going well. And we should be in good shape for those as as as, as well. Um, step back over. Oh, there we go. Another thing that helps us right here is we have this canopy. See, we're so we're under the canopy a little bit here. That's going to help us as well. It's a little a little permaculture-ish type stuff. Our garden is under a canopy. Sun the sun rises this way, so we get more than the sun, and then. Get the canopy there, so we benefit from that as well. Uh, it's one thing you gotta make sure of when you plant your gardens or plant your or build your raised beds. It's that you uh, pay attention to where the sun is. That really helps. Make sure you get sun at the appropriate times. Now here we have some uh, kale. This is dazzling blue kale. Just planted. This is ragged jack kale. Now this kale has come up extremely thick. See, a lot of seeds planted. A lot of seeds right here. 
Uh, that wasn't the intention. <laughs> that wasn't what we meant to do. Um, I planted a round of it, watered it in, nothing germinated, or very little germinated. Wet another a little bit. Angela came along and said, okay, I'm gonna replant. She replanted, watered it, we got some rain. And I think all the water pulled up, kind of pulled up to one side in different spots, pushed all the seeds there, and then like they all germinated. So we're gonna, we're gonna once they grow just a little bit more, we're gonna transplant some of those and uh, make sure make sure they got a little more space than that. <laughs> Say hi to the chickens. Say hi. Say hey, Tootie. There you go. Tootie likes to talk. Figure out as we walk by, might as well talk to her, huh? Now, as we go up here, I'm gonna scan by the raspberries. We did a video on the raspberries. Uh, we'll link that here. We'll show you how they're growing. Uh, Angela did this video on the raspberries. We have raspberries growing. This is true. They're growing really well. We are going to cover them for the freeze, though, because they would they'd be over if it wasn't for that. If we didn't cover them after that. But they're growing well. We got plenty of raspberries on. It's really, really good to see to have raspberries this time of year. Now, right here, I'll show you this. This is um, one of my favorite beans right here. Maybe my favorite green bean in reality. See, this is a this is called North Carolina Long Greasy. Okay, beautiful beans. Beautiful, beautiful beans. A pole bean. They're growing well. You can see. They did great. Uh, we plant we plant them in a succession plant late later in the year, and the temptation <laughs> on these, uh, as you see, these beans they look great. The temptation was to uh, go ahead and keep picking. We got a lot off of them still, but you need seeds. And one thing we learned this year is how valuable seeds are. You know. Um, so we so we let them go. We got plenty of beans off of them, plenty of beans off of them, but it's time to time to let them go. We need seeds as well, and that's that one right there is a not an easy seed to find. And when you do find it, it's not cheap. Um, and we're thinking about taking those and making that our our primary green bean next year. Uh, so we need more seeds, and uh, this. You're not gonna find a better green bean. You're not. It's a North Carolina long greasy. It's a form of a greasy. It's a greasy bean. There's all kinds of greasy beans, as you know, as anybody knows, that that, that pays attention to things like that. Um, there's all kinds of them, and this happens to be my favorite green bean. It's delicious. Uh, wonderful, wonderful old flavor. They stay tender. Uh, no matter how big they get and how fat they get, they don't get tough. Uh, it's they're just great. Uh, we'll walk over here. Uh, show you this if you follow us on Instagram you may have seen this but we didn't do a video on borlato beans the fantastic borlato beans are shell bean you shell these out and you got some delicious beans in there to use uh, mostly in soups and stews and th things like that's how we use them I'm assuming they'd be really good sauteed in some butter olive oil as well but we've picked a lot of them there's a few left to get to get and uh, we'll be getting those soon as well I uh, really want to show you this. Really want to show you this right here. Let's look up. What in the world do we have growing this tall? Look at that. It's amazing. Isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not them left-handed cigarettes as they say back home. <laughs> this is okra. This is Star of David okra and the Jing Orange okra right here. See, this is Jing Orange. This, this one, they stayed smaller. But we planted this bed. It's a six by six raised bed. Um, we did a video on it early in the year. And what we did, uh, we did, um, we planted okra in a kind of a cross. So okra this way, okra sideways. And then we made, it made four quadrants. And in those quadrants, we planted some melons and some uh, winter squashes. Uh, everything grew well. We had some kushaw and uh, so we had kushaw squash. Then we had buttercup, acorn. Um, 
the uh, another kind of squash this is an orange one red one red curry squash is what it was red curry and a couple melons and what happened was that we had vine borers come in and destroy those squashes and melons we had a few small melons it was, uh, it was a kajari melon and a chrysanthemum melon we had a few melons uh chrysanthemum uh but the vine borers destroyed it but as you can see the okra did great uh so the, i don't think we did a bad job in planting i think we just got some pests come in there and so that was a really tough part of it but the okra has done great you saw the little bit we have planted there we've gotten like 15 uh, quart bags frozen of okra off of it which is more than enough for two of us and, and angela's mom and lastly we'll show you this last thing we did we did a bit, uh, picture, uh, video, sorry. <laughs> we did a video on this, uh, some planting winter lettuce and as Landis lettuce that we planted in this patio, on our patio uh, raised beds. And we'll show you what happened here. I think someone's germinated, but we had a squirrel attack. So a squirrel got in here and messed everything up. I think this is lettuce. I think this might be lettuce. This one I think is for sure. So some of this is just weeds, I think. But a squirrel got in here and dug around and messed everything up. So we're gonna have to wait and see. We're gonna have to wait and see how much really this is gonna go. That's a really quick um, uh, walk around the yard of showing what we're still growing. What's amazing that you can still be growing in the middle of October here in Southwest Ohio. Uh, just showing honestly just how amazing God is to his creation far, far exceeds our minds. It can just pff, blow our minds okay that's that's how amazing he is and uh don't ever don't ever short don't ever shortchange him okay he's created these things for you he wants he wants you to take part in this he wants you to keep growing food he's designed it for your benefit for his glory but hey where he gets glory we also benefit from okay remember that and that you know even though even though seasons are changing here you know in, environmentally wise uh, the seasons are changing, obviously. But it doesn't mean you can't grow food. God still keeps providing. Remember that. Take part in that. Enjoy His creation. Uh, take part in His blessings. And just understand that the Creator of all things, the God of heaven and earth, has designed this for your benefit, okay? Look, if you love this video, if you like it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Uh, you know, keep coming back for updates and showing what we're, showing what we're growing. We appreciate you guys watching. We love you guys. God bless you and goodbye.